So today I'm going to be installing this GTS style Alcantara Armrest Delete by M Junkie. Um, it's custom made, features a little sticker on the back, says M Junkie E90 GTS style Alcantara Armrest Delete. It's got basically a foam structure where um, the little cubby hole would be and the top is made in Alcantara. So I'm going to be showing how to take out the stock armrest and putting this one in. So I have the phone dock com box, whatever it's called, currently installed. I've already taken the front part out and I think I got to locate a cord in the back, which will allow this to actually sit in there. Because if not, I would have to cut chunks of this away and I'd rather it just fit how it's intended. So there'll be uh, some parts where it may not be like how your E92 M3 is, but it'll fit nonetheless. So let me give you a shot of what it looks like now. So this is pretty much the stock E92 M3 armrest. It you know, goes up, down. This is where I've already kind of disassembled the comm box from underneath um, inside the emergency brake and I have a third cord where I have to locate where it actually goes to in the back and I'll be able to get this out of there so it'll fall in but I'll I'll just be sitting in the back seat and showing how to disassemble um, the mechanism back here that pretty much keeps the armrest connected to the center console so the easiest way to remove your armrest is to hop behind the driver's seat so do so and then you're going to be pulling this little panel off underneath of the back of the armrest. So grab from both sides and gently just pull from both um, corners. Um, so it looks like somebody may have already, this is my M3 is used, but this spring should kind of be tucked farther back. Um, I think maybe somebody's trying to remove it or it just popped on its own. And if it is in the position it should be, just grab your needle nose pliers and you're going to just pull it this way, which will allow you to more you know, utilize the spring and kind of move the bits and pieces back here the way you need them. Next, what you're going to do is grab your needle nose pliers. And for both sides, you're basically going to walk out this metal pin now um, what people won't really say online or they might pretend like you just push it out and it's really easy um, I've done it before and it's not as easy as you think what I recommend is grabbing something else and push on this plastic because you pushing this way um, I guess maybe they changed the the pin the screw whatever in some models it doesn't it, come out as easy so when you push on this side all it's going to do is kind of just push this plastic and if you hold something against the plastic you'll actually be pushing the pin out and once you get it to a certain point you'll just grab your needle nose pliers and pull as much as you can so i'll show you what i mean so just pin this right here and push as hard as you can eventually the pin will start walking itself out the other side enough for you to grab it with the needle nose pliers that you're currently using uh, so you can't really see it let me try to get you a little closer but i've kind of walked it out enough that i could probably get my hands on it I might try a few more times off camera but just keep doing what i just did and you'll be able to forcibly pull this out so after walking and walking it out as much as I could, at a certain point, I just kind of pinned uh, my arm with uh, just one of the ends of the needle nose plier like this. And then I got to a point where pushing with currently a, a wrench um, was helping more than pushing this way. But as you can see, I kind of have pretty much something that I can grab. And you can see it's about, I don't know, a centimeter of this groove textured material. You should be able to walk that pin out. Now you gotta do that twice, obviously. Um, moving your seat 
which I'll probably do in a second, will allow you to do it kind of how I have on the driver's side, but you're basically going to be getting this pin out twice. So now that you've got both pins out, you should be able to get pretty much everything out of the back of the armrest, including these springs. Oh, I heard something that I'm definitely gonna locate so it doesn't rattle around, but you'll basically have it out. And spring assemblies, so after doing a whole bunch of disassembly of basically the rear vent um, and doing some Googling, hitting up the forum, I determined there's a bit of a mystery with the phone dock pertaining to M3s. So you'll look online and I'm sure there's a couple other guides showing you how to do this for the base 3 series, um, removing the phone dock but not to put you know, GTS style armrest, mostly just to put a little cubby hole to store keys or whatever else you want to store in your armrest slot. Um, most of those have two plugs, which are these plugs. Now, my M3 and a whole bunch of other M3s, I'm not sure if it's all M3s, but there's a third cord that routes somewhere behind um, the, the armrest. You can see the cord going to nowhere. You can disassemble the rear vent, and I just couldn't find where the cord was, and a lot of other people couldn't find it either. So honestly, what I had to do was completely destroy the com box. You can, this is where the com box is. Um, the third cord, it they all they all mount up to some sort of rubber housing. I basically slid it with a razor blade, pulled it apart, and I just stuffed it back underneath of where the armrest is so I can fit this armrest, this Alcantara armrest in its place. So hopefully you don't have to do all what I just did. But So if you've had the uh, rough experience like I did with a com box, or phone dock box, whatever it's called, um, and you got to this point where you got rid of it, um, basically you're going to be putting a little latch back on. It's a really easy job considering some people do this to change out the armrest for Euro, Euro style or just one singular style, but now you basically get to drop in your Alcantara armrest. And that's what it looks like. I'll give a better view once I'm out of the back seat. So this is the end result. Matches pretty good with uh, the Colby wheel Alcantara handbrake and then the handbrake boot, as well as the M Performance steering wheel. It all goes nicely together, but that's the end result of putting in the M Junkie E92 or E90. Um, GTS style armrest elite. Hope this video helped you install your own or get an idea of what you're going to get yourself into should you want your own. Thanks for watching.